What is a Kaplan turbine? Kaplan turbine is an axial flow reaction turbine in which water flows parallel to the axis of rotation of the shaft. It was designed by Sir Victor Kaplan in the year 1913. It is used where a large quantity of water at low head is available to produce electricity. Let's first understand the construction of Kaplan turbine. The components used in the Kaplan turbine are runner, guide vanes and guide wheel, shaft, scroll casing, draft tube. Let's study each of them one by one. Runner. It is the rotating element of the Kaplan turbine that consists of a number of vanes fixed at its surface. The bottom of the runner is called as hub and is made round and contracting for easy flow of water. Water here enters and leaves axially. Now let's study how this runner rotates. Consider any one runner blade. We see that this runner blade has a thin curved shape. As a result, whenever water flows through the hub, the water induces a lift force due to airfoil effect. The tangential component of this lift force makes the runner to rotate. Thus, whenever runner of the Kaplan turbine rotates, a part of its pressure energy gets converted to kinetic energy. It is also to be noted that the runner blades are adjustable in nature. So whenever axial velocity is high, relative velocity becomes more inclined. Hence, blades are pitched vertical. Also, whenever axial velocity is low, relative velocity becomes less inclined. Hence, blades are pitched in tangential direction. Guide Vanes and Guide Wheel Guide vanes are a set of vanes present above the runner and are responsible for directing water from casing to the runner. These vanes do not rotate with the runner, but they do flip like a fan at their own axis. The function of guide vanes is to control the flow rate of water entering the runner. Shaft It is the cylindrical rod fixed with the runner and connecting the generator. Its main purpose is to transmit the mechanical energy of runner from which generator produces electrical energy. Scroll casing It is the covering of Kaplan turbine in which all major components like runner and guide vanes are present. Generally, when water flows along the specified path of Kaplan turbine, its flow rate reduces. So to maintain the uniform speed of water, the cross-sectional area of spiral casing is made decreasing along the length. Draft tube. It is the exit pipe connecting the runner. Its main purpose is to withdraw the water collected in the runner. Due to its increasing area, it is also responsible for avoiding the problems of cavitation. Now let's understand the working of Kaplan turbine. First, inject a large amount of water through the inlet nozzle. We see that as water flows through the spiral casing, its velocity remains same. As it comes in contact with guide vanes, it gets directed in the spacing between guide vanes. Then water flows through the runner and finally flows out via draft tube. Thus, we can summarize as 